everybody. We have Ricky Timms here at the AccuQuilt Gallery. We are so excited that you are here. And um, well, I'm excited too. This is the first time I've had my quilts here in Omaha. And it was so fun for me to go around and pick some of the quilts that I, I wanted to pick for you guys. Well, um, there, this one behind us, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Well, this one is called Simple Gifts. And actually, I picked it because I feel in my heart that this is the quilt that really started my quilting career. It's not my first quilt, but it was my first really significant prize-winning quilt. And it's based on an Amish-style uh, diamond in the square. And it uses uh, commercial fabrics when most of my more recent quilts use hand dyed fabrics. So when people look at this, they think, oh, you must have over dyed to create all these kind of transparent circles. No, it's just changing the colors of the fabric. And it's, it's all paper pieced and, uh, and all machine quilted. It was, it was a fun quilt for me. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous. And there are some wonderful quilts here. I, this is my absolute favorite. This is Bohemian Rhapsody, Love and it. it is probably my most prize winning quilt. I don't know if it's my most famous quilt, but it certainly has won more awards than any of the others. Now, I don't really show it in competition anymore, but it's certainly a quilt that I wanted, and I'm really happy that it's in a position so that when you walk into the gallery, it's the first thing you see on the back wall. And and it looks great. That's right. And what we love about it too is that uh, there are two dies that we've created out of there, the Bohemia number one and Bohemia number two. So um, our uh, quilters can create something similar. Something yeah, that, similar the sun, that. That, that kind of style can certainly be done with an Aki quilt. And that's available for the go and for the studio, that's right? Correct. Yeah, yes. so it's yes. for both. And then I thought I'd tell you about one other quilt that's a little bit uh, unfamiliar to people because I haven't shown it much. Mm -hmm. And it's a quilt called Afternoon Delight. Um, this is actually a photograph that I took, and then on a large format printer, I print that on fabric. So, of course, it looks like a photograph because it is a photograph, but then in Photoshop, I manipulated and altered it so that it has some swirling motion on it, and then I stitched it. And it was the stitching on that that I think when people get up close and see it that they really enjoy looking at. So it's been fun to, to pick these quilts for the exhibit. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this one? Yeah, this quilt is called Dad's Lone Star, and it's uh, a quilt that I actually made with my dad. And this was in 2002. My dad is a quilter, and, uh, and he's up in years now and not quilting anymore. But nonetheless, he pieced all the diamonds on that star. So when I call it Dad's Lone Star, it's not because I made it for my dad, it's because my dad did make the Lone Star in the center of that quilt, and then I did the rest of it. And it also is a very, very well-known quilt and a pretty big prize winner for us. We think it may be the first father-son quilt ever to win in international competition. But. Wow. I mean, I just love the way the light radiates out from the center. Thanks. Well, thanks for letting me have my quilts here. I really appreciate sure. it. We appreciate you being here, and thank you for sharing your wonderful quilts with You're us. You're welcome. Hey, everybody, y'all need to come, right? That's need absolutely right. And uh, everybody knows that better cuts make better quilts. That's right. At AccuQuilt, better cuts make better quilts. That's right. Cool.